legacy, something that all coaches hope to leave and be remembered by one day. And when you hear about legacy or legend in the high school cheer world, one of the first names that will come to mind is the head coach at Greenup County, Candy Berry. We'll hear the story of not only the legacy of Candy and her team, but the legacy of families and the multiple generations who have experienced the three state and 16 national champions at Greenup County. Then we head about five and a half hours southwest to Paducah, Kentucky for a 10 time state and five time national champion co-ed team, McCracken County High School. What? <laughs> that if you ask me how many years I've cheered, we're in trouble. <laughs> I'm Candy Berry. I'm the Greenup County cheerleading coach here. I started coaching here in 1976-77 school year, and I'm not sure how I could have done that because I'm not that old. Candy's style of coaching is goofy because she's always laughing. She's always making jokes about everything. Allison and I can't do it for you. I wouldn't. My bones would break. <laughs> I think she taught me what hard work, dedication, the drive to be a winner and do everything to my best ability. Get up for green up. When I cheered, her style was very intense. We would run before every practice. We would do weigh-ins. We, we would be held accountable for our actions inside and outside practice. Candy's style of coaching um, it boils down to tough love. Her expectations are higher than just about everyone else, and she makes her girls really work to meet those expectations. She wants us to grow up to be young, respectful, and successful ladies. I'm Scarlett Cage Shoemaker, and I graduated in 1989. Just about every female in my family has been coached by Candy Berry. Um, just among my family alone, we have 14 national championships at Greenup County High School. So cheerleading is very much part of our culture. Honestly, like living in this area, growing up in this area, as a little girl, I did gymnastics for years. And what you strove to be was a Greenup County cheerleader. That was, that was the goal, was to be one of those girls in green and gold. Hi, my name is Shonda Warnick. Um, I cheered for Greenup from 1993 to 1997, and this is my daughter. Hi, my name is Callie. <laughs> Hi, my name is Callie. This is my first year cheering for Greenup County. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay. Mom, that was awkward. <laughs> That's okay. That was okay. <laughs> they have these uniforms this year that um, I wore my senior year of high school, and they are rewearing them this year, which is crazy. And when she put it on, like, I totally lost it. What makes a green up cheerleader? I, I think it, it starts with pride. And it starts with determination. Uh, many of these girls that come through the program have had a mother that was a cheerleader, uh, sisters that were cheerleaders. You know, there's a lot of relationships that come through this program. and uh, they all have the same drive of being the best that they can be and being recognized for that. So I would think determination and pride in who they are and what they wear across their chest is, is what makes a good Greenham County cheerleader. We have somebody in our family has won every single year except one. I've been asked a lot of times what would my legacy be in cheerleading, honestly. I just hope they, they know I loved it and I loved all these kids. Cheerleading has given my life and my family's life a different look. I go home to them and can be the mother and the grandmother, but I come here and I get excited and, and feel the warmth and, and see the kids succeed. And so I hope everybody knows that my legacy would be love of these kids that I have in my life. Okay, thank you.